How's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing top 40 of the best free iOS 13 jailbreak tweaks. Some of these tweaks are really awesome and I'm super excited to share them with you. All the tweaks that are covered in this video will be down below in the description as well as the source to get them from. All right guys, let's get started. Orion and Sunflower are really cool, but they're two tweaks that are exclusive to 3D Touch devices. Orion brings back Peak and Pop to 3D Touch capable devices on iOS 13, and Sunflower reintroduces the 3D Touch look that was present on pre-iOS 13 3D Touch compatible devices. In iOS 13, they did away with 3D Touch, calling it sort of haptic touch, so this brings it back iPhone 10 dock does exactly what it sounds like it does. It brings the iPhone 10 dock to pre iPhone 10 devices. Adaptive dark mode lets you change whether your phone is in a light mode or a dark mode by bringing down your brightness. I think this implementation is interesting, but lights out, I really like more. Lights out will dynamically change your device from light mode to dark mode, depending on if there's a light source around. This is awesome, and I wish this was in stock iOS. Manila brings haptic press to folders. Simply tap and hold on a folder, and there you go. Based off barrel, Cylinder is a classic that I feel like I always have to include in these top tweaks videos. Cylinder gives your page transitions an effect, so when you're scrolling from page to page, you can see curl and roll away effects and all crazy different kinds of stuff. It's a pretty cool tweak if you haven't ever tried it, even though most of you probably have. 5Dock13 gives you the ability to have five icons in your dock. Simple LS2 makes your lock screen look pretty cool. Also, if you toggle it on, there is an option for an always on display, and I think it looks pretty good. Small Siri gives you a less obtrusive Siri view. Fluid Tabs lets you fluidly swipe between different page views. Out of all the tweaks on this list, Dolphin iOS has to be my favorite. Dolphin iOS lets you play any GameCube or Wii game that you can think of. And while I can notice a decent amount of slowdown on my 6S, during cutscenes you barely notice it as it stays at 60 frames per second for most of the time. The 11 on the other hand is buttery smooth and it looks amazing. Of course, the performance that you're gonna get out of a Wii or GameCube game depends on what device that you're using. If you want me to make a video about how to go about installing Dolphin iOS and just show it off more in detail, let me know down below in the comments. Normally in iOS, if you're getting a phone call and your phone is locked, there's no way to decline a call on the interface. However, this tweak, let me decline, lets you decline the call. Tap Tap Lock lets you double tap or triple tap your screen to lock your device. Accent lets you have a different color for the UI elements on your device across the board. iCleaner is a useful tool to help you clean out some unnecessary files and give you back some space. Oh My Flash automatically disables the flashlight after a certain set period of time. CC Support is a framework that lets you have customized control center modules. However, that's what's needed for this tweak called Window HUD. With this tweak, you can reverse your screen. This is pretty practical because if you're in the car and you put it face up on your dash and you want to get directions somewhere, it can show you exactly where you need to go. Tweak Count 2 lets you see how many packages you have installed with Cydia. Fast Forward Time adds the seconds view on the clock on the lock screen. Tap Video Config allows you to change the resolution and frame rate of the video you're recording straight from your camera app. This was added in iOS 13, but was only for newer devices. Airport themes the AirPod pop-up in iOS. Half gets rid of that annoying need to swipe down to see your battery percentage in Control Center. Now the percentage is inside the battery icon. Mobile Goose puts a goose on your home screen and it walks around and can bring you mini messages as well. Kind of cool and also kind of a weird idea for a tweak, but it works. You can disable it in the settings, but unless you do, the goose isn't going anywhere. Auto Unlock X is a must have for anyone that has an iPhone 10 style device. It automatically unlocks your device when Face ID is present instead of having to wait and swipe up. Mitsuha Forever is a continuation of the previous Mitsuhas, 
this time updated for iOS 13 and A13 devices. The only thing that this tweak doesn't do is a visualizer on the home screen. Apparently that's coming, but you still get all the rest of the same features that you had with previous versions. When you're jailbroken, tweaks clutter up your settings page. With Preference Organizer 2, you can organize them. Axon groups all of your notifications by app. Day night switch universally changes your toggles when enabled and disabled to a sun and a moon respectively. It looks pretty cool. Sleepy time lets you know how long you have until your alarm goes off. Color me notice changes the color of your notifications to match the app that they're from. It also colors the widgets view as well. And the look also changes dynamically if you switch from light mode to dark mode. This is pretty clean. If you're looking for a more minimalistic approach, then Colorful Notice might be the one for you instead. Drag Enabler lets me bring the native drag and drop functionality from iPad over to iPhone. It works the same way. All I have to do is just press and hold on a link and then put it where I want it to go, and there you go. Using the built-in Face ID or Touch ID functionality on your device, Arch locks down your apps. Size Finder places the size of the app where the X normally is when rearranging your icons. Don't worry, you can still delete apps. Quit All gives you a nice minimalistic way to quit out of all of your apps in the app switcher. If something's currently playing though, it won't quit out of it. Any key trackpad lets you force touch anywhere on the keyboard instead of just being restricted to the spacebar. Pancake is an awesome tweak that lets you slide from anywhere to go back to the previous page. It's really convenient and I think it's a genius idea. In regular iOS, it'll only work if you're sliding from the corner of the screen. Gravitation gives your icons a zero gravity-like effect on your home screen by shaking your device. You can see I can tilt it side to side and it moves and also I can place my finger on the screen and the icons will move to my finger. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on. That way you never miss an upload. Also, let me know what you thought of this video down below in the comments and let me know what your favorite tweak was. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a good one guys, peace.